Good morning guys, how's it going? It is currently 8am and um, I was reading through the comments on the previous previous video and it pleases me to say that the eyes have it. So, my friends, Dan's starting a vlog. So let's start, first of all, by discussing what the job is that I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to quickly interject and just apologise for how shaky this next bit of footage is. Given some more experience with holding the camera, it will get more steady. As I said, I'm in a post house here in Liverpool, which I can't really... I'm not sure whether I can reveal the name of it yet, so um, I'll try and get that sorted so I know whether I can. And um, I'm working as a sound effects editor on a movie. Again, can't really reveal what the movie is yet, but uh, all, in, all, in good, all in good time. Um, so basically I've been working here now for... This is my second week. And I'm at least contracted for six. So I've got six weeks here. And it's all gone really well. Got my own little little office. My own little like semi-studio, which I'll uh, show you. It's kind of as echoey as this room at, at the moment. So um, I'll, I don't really have... Well, there's loudspeakers and stuff in there, but I don't really use them. Luckily, I've become pretty adept to using my Sennheiser HD25s as monitors, so um, that becomes the majority of, like I use them the majority of the time. And I think I do a pretty good job on them, I'm, I'm that used to them now, I've been using them for years, so um, I'm just very comfortable and I trust them. So no big issue in terms of you know whether or not I should be using monitors or whether I should be using headphones. However, we do double check everything in the main room which has the Dyn Audio like 5.1 or 7.1 setup in there. So it's, um, we use, we only, you know, I do my work on the Sennheisers and then we cross check it in the big room, which is probably super, super important. <laughs> so uh, yeah, time to go to work. It's going to take me a little while to get used to this whole vlogging lark. Uh, today I'm actually not going to be taking the camera into work because um, I just need to finalise whether or not I'm actually okay to, you know, to film and things like that and I need to kind of figure out what I'm allowed to discuss, what I'm not allowed to discuss, just so I don't step on any toes. Um, so it should be, I'll just leave it with you to be like, well, you know, it's going to take a little while for me to figure out the direction of the vlog and figuring out my own personality, what my take on things is going to be, how I'm going to film it, how often I'm going to film, am I going to go out, you know, all, all that stuff. So um, it will take a little while for me to get used to doing all this, uh, the, the the type of equipment. See, you are, I'm sure you all know, but you are kind of taking a bit of a substantial bit of gear out with you. Um, and obviously I don't really necessarily have the confidence of walking around my city with my arm out, like, like so. But we'll see. We'll see how I get on. Um, so yeah, what I wanted to leave this with was just if there's any specific questions, if there's any um, things in particular you would like me to go into a little bit more depth in, because I saw a comment about, you know, learning how an official kind of post house works, and that's something we can do. So if you've got any more info like that, you know, any more particular that you would like to uh, see me go on about then let me know um, and I will I will continue that post haste. So, yeah. Um, and again, I don't know how... I'm probably going to include footage out of the entire week in the vlog, so I don't know why I'm saying goodbye because I'll just cut into somewhere else down the line. It's been a couple of days since I decided that the vlog was actually going to happen. It has been nearly a week. Five days, four days. Five days, I think, and um, God, a lot happened. You know, a lot of a lot of learning, a lot of learning's gone on. So, people were saying um, there was a comment on on the last video about how 
we, he'd like to know how working in a post house is different to working kind of at home, kind of run and gun style that I've been doing so far, and how working in a traditional sense is different from that. And um, in in kind in a lot of ways, it's the the learning that I've done so far has been unbelievable. Because as as I've said quite often in the past, like the job itself we can do to get the end product is something that we can do and I think the level of quality from the post house level to the level that we're used to it isn't isn't like it it's 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 better, don't get me wrong. But as in we've always strived for that kind of level anyway. So even though from here I, I don't necessarily hit them levels and in the post house we do. The the idea of getting there, you know, it's it's where we want to be at the end is exactly the same. You know, we all strive to get to that best level and that best level is completely subjective but the objectivity of it is that it's the best we can make it and that that is the same in both the big difference is how you get there it's it's uh, the process the workflow is completely different um, from how I've done it as I say here I just kind of do whatever I can to make it work and set it in a more log like the most logical way I can think of but the most important thing for me that I want to I want to start this off with, I want to start like the first video needs to kind of have this idea. So yeah, I want to focus more on the, the, the concept of like you, you know, what what can you offer, what can you do to best improve the place that you're going into. So the first thing I would say, and I really do stick by this, is pretend that you don't know anything. Like not necessarily, you know, ask what Pro Tools is or ask why a microphone does whatever. Not necessarily that, just I think the best thing you can do is never say, well, here's how I've done it. Unless you're obviously asked. I know I've got a load of experience getting to this point, but I, I don't necessarily believe that it's going to stay the same as we move forward. It's about using this experience and then now gaining as much other experience as we can while we're here. So going in thinking that you know everything is a bad idea. Definitely a bad idea, especially because the people who you're going to be going and working with have done a lot more than you. Going in and trying to learn as much as possible is the best thing you can do. Absolutely the best thing you can do. And doing that, you just go into it with an open mind. You know, don't be scared of being wrong. Don't be scared of messing up. A lot of the people who are in this industry will have time for you. And if they don't, they'll let you know early on. I've gone into this situation now knowing that I'm going to have to learn and I'm going to have to be wrong. And I'm going to have to change some of the processes that I've done so far. But that's fine. You're never disappointed. You're always learning. I've said this since the beginning of the channel is th this whole process continues. It doesn't just, you don't just get a Pro Tools rig and before you know, you're walking around thinking that you're bloody, you know, John Williams or, you know, anyone, but I'll pick someone. You, you're not, you're not going around thinking you're Ben Baird. It's, you've, you've got to work through the process. And this is the difference between working in a post house and working at home. When you're working at home, you're your own god. You know, you believe your own hype. If you're wrong, it's only the filmmaker who can tell you you're wrong. You know, you make the decisions based on what you think. And that's fine, it's absolutely fine. But the big difference is now you're going and you're working for someone else. You're working with their name now. And you've got to get your level of work to where their standard is, not necessarily to where yours is. So now I'm in a point where I'm going to work every day knowing that I'm going to learn something new. Um, you're able to go and dedicate eight hours a day to this one thing. And even though in this job I am a dialogue editor, I've gained an appreciation of how like the mix stage is going to be, how like the pre-mixing and why, why we're track lane in a certain way with the end view of, well, what does the mixer want? You know, I'm going through creating these dialogue tracks because... I know, well, I'm going to learn how the mixer's going to want them in the end. So I'm going to start making decisions based on what they want further down the pipeline, not necessarily what I'm doing now. And that's like kind of been a bit of a weird thing because, you know, as you do in this job, you when you work through Pro Tools, you work as you go and you make edits on how you think it should sound in the end, where now that's not the job. For me, at least, I've got to leave handles and fades on either side of that dialogue clip and then the mixer decides when or you know to bring that in and drop that out so it's it's really interesting in a way where 
it's a completely different workflow. It's a completely different way of thinking. And it's good in a way because you know that you don't have to commit any decisions right now and that's for someone else to do. And you realise that you're part of a bigger cog, you know, a bigger machine, sorry. You're not there just going, well, I think it should sound like this. And that's how it's going to be. It's like, nope, you make it as good as you can make it sound to pass on to someone else to make another decision down the line. And I love it. I love it so far. Um, again, I don't want to go into too much, overly too much detail now because there's still a lot of stuff I haven't done. Again, I'm only two and a half weeks into the job and I don't want to sit here going, wow, my entire idea has changed because I know I've still got a lot of that to go. But uh, I think this will be a good place to end this inaugural video. Uh, hopefully you have enjoyed it. Uh, it will get better. Don't you worry. It will get better. I know it's crap right now, but we will improve. Um, but thanks for all you know sticking with me through this. It's going to be a little bit of a, a little bit of a journey, and I'm glad that I can kind of document it with you. Uh, I am working on another series parallel to this for Puddle. Um, there's a lot of work in that, and I'm kind of filming my steps along that process as well. So, uh, you know, we're getting there. We're going to start getting more content on the channel. Hopefully, we can start growing. We're nearly at 700 subscribers. Uh, I've got something planned for when we get to a thousand. So, you know share share it all about if you've got any mates who are interested in this let me know hey well let them know about me or let me know about them if you want um and then we'll we'll move from there but it's it's going to be exciting i'm very much excited uh hopefully you are too but uh this means that and i'll see us all in the next week or so have a good one